Hey everyone, it's Charlie Morgan and welcome to another video. So in today's video, it's a slightly different format. Um, I'm gonna be walking you through some results we've got for one of our clients, a guy called Luca, who started with us at basically zero clients, zero meetings, very, very frustrating situation for him. He was sending thousands and thousands of outreach emails, was landing no meetings, no clients, no money, no nothing. Lots of stress, lots of pain, a situation that most agency owners are very familiar with, including myself, you know, four or five years ago. And Luke has been with us since April, but he started the program properly and applying it in July. It's now November, and last week he made $10,000, set to do another $10,000 this week, which should bring him to about 40K a month in his agency. So technically he's gone from zero to 40K a month um, over the course of the last three to five months, which is fucking insane. And he's done it using our program, and I could not be happier for him and more proud of his results. And I wanted to share them with you, and um, hopefully you can deduce some... Um, well, you can get some knowledge and some ideas from his experiences working with us. And I recorded a quick student interview with him to sort of just A, demonstrate that he's a real human and that I'm not making this up because it almost is too good to be true. Like zero to 10K a week in basically like four months is mad. Um, but it is true and it's awesome. And that's how much I love the program we have because it's fucking amazing. So I'm going to clip that in now. Uh, and in the link, well, there'll be a link to a funnel. I know you hate funnels, I hate funnels. I'm not gonna give you free training or a case study, don't worry. But there'll be a link to um, a page where you can check out what we do, some results, um, and just have a good look at everything that we're all about. And if you want to book a call from there, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine by me. But I'll talk to you soon and I'll clip it in now. Talk soon. So hey everyone, it's Charlie Morgan and welcome to another video, a bit of a different style today. Um, today I'm going to be running through a quick interview with one of my favourite students, um, not that I have favourites, but Luca here has done very well with us over the last five months since he joined in the spring. Um, as of us recording this, it's currently November 2021 and um, Luca, when did you start with us, like in, in March or something? It was like six months ago? Five? I don't think it was that long ago, I think it was May or yeah. April, there and around. Yeah sometime before the summer for here in the UK. Um, but the reason we're on today's call um, for you guys listening or watching is just to sort of give you an idea as to how Luke has done what he's done. Um, and what he's done is basically go from a, basically a brand new agency with no clients in a pretty, um, if you don't mind me saying, like desperate situation, trying to find yeah. clients and following yeah. poor advice. Um, and now Luca makes $10,000 per week. Um, and for full transparency, that's like, not a mega consistent thing yet. It's, a, it's not an anomaly, but we're on the right direction. But last week it was like 10 grand, if I'm not mistaken, right? It was indeed. Yeah. And so the purpose of this is for you guys to understand how Luca did that. But also the sub purpose is obviously for me to invite you to talk to us about how we could help you achieve similar results. But we're going to leave with value. So, um, yeah. So, Luca, why don't you just start by introducing yourself, just talking a bit about like who you are, what your agency is all about, and then we'll just dive into some specifics about how you've done what you've done. Perfect. So my name is Luca. Um, I am from South. Uh, I'm from South East London, and I have had my agency. We we supply leads for realtors. Um, mm -hmm. We've been going since. I've started the program, I think it was April, but actually I th it took me about two months to really get going because I had a lot of stuff happening. So yep. since about August um, is when we've really been running. Um, so August, I would, June, July, August, um, really been starting, really been running. We provide leads for realtors only in the US and Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and within the last few months it's just scaled to um a level in which i actually didn't think i'd hit until <laughs> probably yeah. probably that was in my three-year plan so yeah uh, it, 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 what was yeah. the three-year plan so the three-year plan um was to be able to consistently sign um ten thousand pounds worth or ten thousand dollars worth of clients every week wow. um we're now on a Monday again and I've signed another. So <laughs> so we we basically, in essence, helped you do what you wanted to do in three years and three months. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So you, you, you picked everything up properly, really, in July. So you had July, August, September, and obviously October. So that's a four-month process, um, yeah. which is fantastic. And so you weren't always in the realtor space, were you? Where were you before? Me? No, so 
I was one of the many, one of the mass um, that saw a e-commerce boom, e-commerce agency boom. So I had an e-commerce store, um, went on to do quite well with from it. And how we worked out was when it all came to, when it all went south, which they all do, uh, drop shipping stores and things like that. So what happened is I thought I can do the ads. I've done the ads myself. Why don't I start up a marketing agency? Yeah. Um, I thought signing a client would be the easiest thing you'll ever do. Turns out it wasn't. Uh, and I spent sort of from November to probably April. Yeah just reaching out to thousands of brands. Um, I had no real structure. I had no real offer. Um, I had nothing. And it makes sense why I didn't work. Um, but yeah, now we're, uh, I then went on to sign with the calls, I jump in, be a part of it. And uh, then I basically said, look, I need to really get my head right. I really need to make sure that I know what, <laughs> what the best plan for me is and how I done that was I said, what's, what niche should I do? Yeah. And within about four minutes, um, if that seconds, it was, it was decided realtors. Yeah. Um, and I, at the start, I thought bollocks, this isn't good. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, but actually, um, and, and actually up until about five weeks ago, I thought the same thing. So yeah. <laughs> I can't really, and even now I'm not sure, you know, like you can never, I don't think, I don't think I'll ever be too sure, but um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm I'm now really enjoying it. I'm loving it. Um, yeah. Cause I was, yeah. was going to mention, because obviously like when you joined us, the, the thing you was you were lacking was the strategy and the, 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 the actual proper process or the updated version of, of outreach and everything like that but what, what I think we found with you specifically and the, the problem that we had to overcome was that sort of mental one of that yeah. sort of always looking for something that's a little bit better or always looking for the greener grass when in reality it's sort of just sticking to that one thing now you mentioned earlier like obviously you were doing thousands and thousands of Reach, reaching out to brands and stuff in the e-com space and that's true for a lot of agencies and it's a painful painful problem that I'm sure people watching this video right now resonate with when you came on board with us what what do you think were the main things that you learned that allowed you to sort of think okay I've actually now got a new because obviously quite a lot it's, it's a big transformation but if you could sort of summarize it in a couple of things not to put you on the spot um the main thing it was actually having people around me who weren't just who hadn't just sort of taken money and gone. Right. Never heard from them again. It was some, like you, Bo, and actually everyone in there, um, everyone chats. We talk pretty much daily. Yeah. Um, if, if someone puts a, a question in the group, normally someone will beat you to the reply. You know, <laughs> there's always someone to help. Yeah. I think that was a great start. Them call, we have calls on a Tuesday and a Friday. They're another because that was huge. Yep. And Loom Alchemy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to say, Loom Alchemy. Yeah, to give to give everyone context. Do you, Taylor, why don't you explain in, in your own words what Loom Alchemy is? It's a module we have in the programme, but if you were to put so, it in. Yeah, it, it's a module in the programme which has um, basically taken me from zero to everything now because mm. I have followed it. We have all followed it. Um, and I genuinely don't think there's one person who doesn't get sort of one to four meetings, positive well. replies slash meetings. I I'm probably three meetings a day from it. Um, I know a lot of others, some people are doing far more, some people are doing less, but everyone's working on consistent meetings and, um, it's, it's a, the most personalized, unpersonalized outreach <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah, like the most automated, <laughs> but also personalized. You know, I think yeah. it's an interesting one because when we were building that, our philosophy was like people, when it comes to outreaches, they have this sort of belief where it has to be quality or it has to be quantity. Like you can't have both is yeah. what people thought. And we looked at that and we were like, fuck that. Like, you know, we should just combine the two. Um, and I think that's probably why it works quite well. 
Um, and obviously that that's proven by and the it does. Bus. It, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it does. I've been three meetings a day, and you know, for like some agency owners, they they'd be happy with a meeting a day. Um, and so now that now that you're in the position where 10k weeks and two to three client weeks feel normal to you, where do you see yourself going next? Not only with what we have in the program, but also because it's obviously it's a very new feeling, novelty for you yeah. to have this level of growth. But what do you think is next for you? Scaling. Um, I've proven to myself that I can do it. That's one of the huge parts. It's a great question as well, because I actually thought about it mm. Friday, Friday afternoon when I was finishing work. Yeah. When I was wrapping everything up, I thought, what now? <laughs> this was the goal. This was the yeah, goal. It's like, we did, it's like my three year goal has been realized. Yeah. Like and then I thought, actually, now I need to do this every week and double it and double it again. And double it again, and then um, just build my team out, build out. Just and and actually, I think service delivery. I want to get everything down to such a great, such nothing's ever perfect. I get it, but so near to perfection that um, I, I could happily sort of be able to go away for a day or not work, but have such a great team behind me that they will close every all the sales. They, will, but. That I think that's now the, the next step. Because mm, obviously that's we, we have the service delivery module in the program, which yeah. we released today, which I think will be today. useful for you. And like the, the reason we've done that is because we what we found with a lot of clients like your situation now is we once we solve the appointment booking and sales problem and the dilemma that comes with not having clients, you're then like, okay, what's next? And I feel like most <laughs> people... Who, who coach not to name any names but as you you've experienced before and i'm sure everybody else watching this has experienced before you've bought 997 programs or slightly higher ticket programs from people on instagram or youtube and their courses just aren't up to scratch what what do you feel is different between what you the value you've received from us and the processes we've given you and the courses that you've seen beforehand what would you say are the, are the differences or how would you describe that great one because it's actually solely down to one thing and it's we build our own agencies you know there's 100 at the time of today i think there's 117 people in the course yeah i would say 117 people have their own agency no one copies each other is mm. there was never a script mm. there was never one set email line and then this and then this and you build it all out yourself but you use proven methods that that i would say are the best as well to be had to say but um and I, i've done various courses and i've never i've never got any yeah. traction i've never been able to really get there but actually what's happened now is i am i, I am now doing my own sort of marketing where yeah i'm we, we're doing our own testing split testing emails with this and this and there, there's so many different um tests and we're doing facebook and we're doing linkedin and we're doing but this is all off of our own back but it's also what we've been taught yeah and so it's, it, like, it's it, yeah. we've actually built our own agencies this yeah. is the difference there is no copy and pasting there is no the, i think the only copy and paste thing is their website uh, I didn't even use it. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, you can get away with with the website, and I think this is a, a common a common dilemma with agency coaching programs, or, or usually lack thereof. Even the coaching, there's not much of that at all. Um, but like, you know, what happens is someone puts together something in Teachable over the course of a month, and they sell it, and then they just don't update it. But we've, and I think this is as you've just described, the process we try to follow is to teach you the principles. I would rather like, you know, the whole phrase, like give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Yeah. I think what we try to do at the program is give you the tools. So like, cause we're, we're going to work on a module for next year. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not on like how we actually, the, the, the critical thought process that we go through to build the systems. And like, cause obviously at the moment you've got the program and you can pull apart different lessons and come up with your own methods which you've done and which are working for you and that the the reason you're doing so well is because you've taken it upon yourself to do that and we set the expectation that that's what needs to be done but in the future we'd quite like to have like this is our process for coming up with copy this is our process for testing this is exact and i think that that's the main thing 
because otherwise you've just got 200, 300, 1,000 people all singing the same song and it sucks. And that is what most of it is. Yeah. Um, and I hate to say it, but the amount of emails I get, um, which are, this is new or... Yeah, it's breath. Like I had one the other day. It was a, it was a it's a breath of fresh air to see you're not all the same, and I <laughs> thought that was hilarious. Then we've even started doing what the, the Facebook outreach, and it's just completely different. It's I, and my I've switched my phone off, but it was like I sent it over to you. It was it was crazy. It was like um, wow, this yeah. is the best I've ever seen, and because yeah. of that, I've booked a call with you. Yeah. I've actually got a call after this call. So yeah. it's, 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 um, yeah, it, it's such a great feeling. Yeah. Knowing, uh, and I, I personally, I know people say like, yeah, you get used to it. I don't, I don't think I will just for the simple fact of, I quite, I enjoy getting on the calls. So uh, I know a lot of people dread it. Um, I, you're the same sort of mind as I am, but I actually enjoy the getting on the calls. And this is, I think one of the benefits of, of being able to do this and, and being able to book so many calls is that my day is just so much better. Yeah. So much better than it ever was. That's awesome, man. And so just going back to what you were saying before um, about building your own systems and stuff, what do you feel as a couple of one, of, one or two of the main parts of the program that have taught you to think for yourself? Are there any sort of, obviously I'm putting you on the spot here. And yeah. Um, when you're writing your own script, your own sales script, um, we have different ways of sales scripts and you basically build your own. Mm. Um, you have building your own team, building that system out, building your own sales scripts. And it comes down to little things like on the loom alchemy, the, the wording, the, um, Michael. I would just say on a whole, you could, without even, without having to bring in a new module, I think that you could quite simply, systemize and scale the business any business because i know that there are a few people who are coaches for instance in it and and i'm sure they're still using it and i i think it's become if you really just work if you just do it it will work yeah. and i think everyone in there seen that yeah. that actually when you really do it and and i went and got vas and i went and got this and i went and got even down to that, I had VAs working before and it was yeah. never, they were always, it was come and go, come and go. Yeah. Now I have one, I'm more than one VA, but I have people doing specific outreach and get, getting leads and they've been with me since August and they're not going anywhere. No and, revolving and, door virtual yeah. assistant system. <laughs> yeah, and it's really building out the team. Like my, I, I, everything, everything yeah. through it, everything about it is just, it allows you to simply scale um and and boost uh, i think everyone in there's going yeah when you when you look at imperium agency and the, the business we have um where do you in in relation to the other people in the market and the competition 18 24 months from now where do you think we would be based on the product and your experience with us so far I think you'll have about 1,500 to 2,000 students, <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah, I, I 100%. It, well, if everyone, all it comes down to is also whether people are um, willing to really go and give money and to benefit themselves. Mm. I get it, not everyone can, but I would say it, I would put well now if I was to have if, if I was to have had the money and that was all the money I had and I couldn't do anything else six months ago and yeah. you would have told me now then I would have obviously put yeah. every penny I had down um, Bitcoin if you could <laughs> yeah I would have got everything I would have just been at I would have just done everything I could to get it but um okay. yeah it's it's because now it's um now I've got it and yeah. actually is benefited me far more than well, anything I think, else ever could. I think you should give yourself a lot of the credit because of how hard you've worked and how much you've applied yourself and controlled your mind and just actually done the damn thing, which is which is good, yeah. good thing. But yeah, I've also found it quite fun, the whole yeah. experience. That was that was a huge thing as well. It wasn't no it wasn't tedious. And there are I'm not gonna even lie, there are some parts of the course, like videos that I haven't watched 
because it wasn't the right one for me and it was something that I knew but yeah. everything I've watched has been a everything I've watched has been very valuable for me um to me and and yeah <laughs> it's worked I'm happy female and so once again just to describe your situation before you came on board with us so you're in a niche that wasn't really taking you anywhere you were sending you know hundreds if not well you were literally sending thousands of outreach messages to get no appointments but i can imagine that was demotivating you probably felt like you wanted to give up on the agency you felt like you'd lost faith in mentors and you just thought that it was just difficult and hard to people in that situation what advice would you give them knowing what you know now and you're not um, allowed to pay by the course <laughs> no um don't trust everything you see um because there's a lot of people who will tell you they're doing one and they're not and realistically it's actually just do the fucking work i never would <laughs> i never would and i would always try and outsource it um and in this case i didn't have a choice i had to do it yeah i used to get a va and say like come up with your own script like of course it didn't work yeah no, no one's that's never gonna work yeah um whereas now i'm i'm constantly renew i'm updating it almost daily um spit testing it got a lady in the course called alva and she came up with some phenomenal content which <laughs> i have to actually say is it's that email alone <laughs> what sort of got me in my last four clients yeah yeah this so, is the thing is it's like that's I, why the community yeah. is so awesome because people come up with shit and they're like oh guys this might work and we've got it's such a nice sort of like well because when Bo and, and Jamie started, and Jamie and Jamie and as well Jamie yeah as well. I mean when we when we started it we, we didn't really anticipate the culture being as active and like altruistic as we did we just you know because you you'd expect if you've because I know you talk to some guys we've got who are also in the realtor space and you share yeah. ideas and strategy yeah, yeah. and it's nice that that culture has, has come about because you know a lot of people try and keep their cards close to their chest but being able to give and take with people who are solving the same problems as you is is infinitely valuable and um, yeah we're we're in London so the one of the other ones who's in um, the realtor space, I went for dinner with him a little while ago. I, I might as well be in an office with him because we're actually just on FaceTime to each other all day long. <laughs> so, it, 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 you know, like it, there is genuine people in here and it's not just people in all over the world who never speak to every, everything's mine, mine, mine. Yeah. It's like we're in the same niche. We're, we're trying to get the same clients, but we both help each other out. Yeah. Like I set something up for him the other day. He's a, he's abroad, so I had to set up a, a, some new emails. Just the vice versa, you know. Like we it, it, we shouldn't be helping each other. Yeah. But we're all the real understand that if you're trying to argue over ten clients in a niche where you've got one hundred and fifty thousand of them, yeah, you, you're doing something seriously wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing when we take on because obviously our agency works at gyms. And quite a few of Imperium people work with gyms. People are like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you're helping your competition. It's like, dude, there's like 70,000 gyms. If we, <laughs> sign, if we sign a guy who wants to work with 20 gyms, it's a spit in the ocean. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make a difference. And, um, and being able to, to offer that help is, is useful, man. Luke, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I think we both have to go for sales calls now, conveniently. Yeah. Um, but in, in closing, if, if you were... If you were watching this um, as someone who used to be in your old situation, who was thinking, oh, that's, that program sounds kind of cool. What would you say to them about the program? In you know, after, um, fill your heart out, but just curious. Um, you, you, you will be headbutting a wall until you buy this because you will, you will do the same thing wrong again and again and again. And there is nothing that will teach you to do something right. And actually, this has taught me what to do right, how to do it, but it's also allowed me to teach myself. Mm. Um, so if it was my old self, I'd just say, just buy the fucking cool sleep. <laughs> Stop being an idiot. You can, you've, you've seen into the future, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Awesome. Well, listen, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Greatly appreciate your time. And Perfect. I'm looking forward to doing this um, when you do, you know, we'll do another one when you get to 30K a week or something. Yeah. Um, well, when we hit six figures a month, 
Yeah, when you hit that 100k a month mark, which will probably happen a lot faster than you expect. Um, Because the the, the most difficult thing is getting to 10k a month. Once you get to 10k, the fact you've got 10k a week as as quickly as you have, that's like... It went from a month to a week. (laughs) Yeah, you know, you just just skipped the month. You're like, (laughs) like, fuck that, it's too small. Just going to skip it. Um, Dude, listen, I'll leave you to it and um, we can call it a day. See you later. Thanks for coming, brother. Thank you, mate. Ciao. Bye-bye.